In this video, we're going to look at error intervals. In these questions, we're going to look at numbers that have been rounded, and we want to know what they could have been before they were rounded. So here we've got a question, a number x is rounded to one decimal place. The result is 8.2. Write down the error interval for x. So we're going to write down 8.2 in the middle, and we We've got it to one decimal place. We're going to write down the number that comes before 8.2. So that's 8.1. And what comes after 8.2 to one decimal place? 8.3. Our lower bound is going to be halfway in between 8.1 and 8.2. That's 8.15. And our upper bound is going to be halfway in between 8.2 and 8.3, which is 8.25. Now we want to write this using inequality notation. So we're going to have our number x in the middle. So we've got x in the middle. Our lower bound is 8.15. Our upper bound is 8.25. And the signs, so x is bigger or equal to 8.15. 8.15 does round to 8.2, to one decimal place. But x is smaller and not, but it can't equal, just x is smaller than 8.25. So it can go anything all the way up to 8.25. We can go up to 8.24999, but we can't go all the way to 8.25 because that would round to 8.3 so we say it can equal the lower bound but it can't equal the upper bound it's just less than the upper bound okay here we've got another question if you want to pause the video and give it a go you can otherwise keep watching a number y is rounded to two decimal places the result is 3.54. Write down the error interval for y. So we write down 3.54. We've rounded to two decimal places. So what comes before 3.54? 3.53. And what comes after 3.54? 3.55. Our lower bound halfway in between 3.53 and 3.54 that's 3.535 and our upper bound halfway between 3.54 and 3.55 3.545 so now our inequality notation we've got y in the middle The lower bound, 3.535, why it is bigger or equal to 3.535, and why is less than 3.545. So it can equal the lower bound, so we've got the bigger than or equal sign, but it can't equal the upper bound, so it's just the, it's less than, it's just less than that, it's not or equal. And that's our answer. Okay, a number x is truncated. Truncated to one decimal place. The result is 15.1. Write down the error interval for x. So truncated just means everything after one decimal place has been ignored. So if it was 15.134, or 15.15, or 15.1976, or 15.134, or 15.11, or 15.19. All of these numbers truncate to one decimal place. So they've got one decimal place, 15.1, and we just cross out anything after. So anything after the one decimal place 
we just ignore. So anything that starts with 15.1 truncates to 15.1 to one decimal place. So to write down the error interval for these ones, we have 15.1 and we write down the number that comes next. So what comes after 15.1? That's 15.2. So 15.1, that's our lower bound. 15.2 is our upper bound. So we do the inequality notation the same way. So we've got x in the middle. We can equal the lower bound. So we can equal 15.1. But we can't equal the upper bound. Because 15.2 truncates to 15.2 anything all the way up to 15.2 so 15.1999 truncates to 15.1 and one more question on this so a number y this time is truncated to two decimal places the result is 7.94 write down the error interval for y so we're going to write down 7.94 and we're going to write down what comes next so to two decimal places what comes after 7.94 7.95 so 7.94 is our lower bound 7.95 is our upper bound so we've got 7.94 which it can equal and 7.95 which it can't equal. So y is bigger or equal to 7.94 and less than 7.95.